Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to display and also launch Salesforce messaging for in-app and web on a button click. For example, here I have hosted the embedded service deployment code for messaging for in-app and web in my GitHub account. I'm not able to initiate the chat as of now. I don't see the widget here. I'm going to show the widget and also I will be able to launch it on click of this button. Let's see that in uh, in this demo. So I'm, I have clicked chat with our agents. It, uh, it is showing the chat uh, widget. Now I can click it and then I should be able to launch the chat. Let's see how to implement this. Open your embedded service deployment. Click install code snippet. You can use copy to clipboard and make a note of this code. And in your site HTML page, this one you have to copy paste from the code snippet. So the first part of the code snippet the first script the second script also you have to copy paste but you have to remove this on load init embedded messaging on load of the script if this method is called it will show the chat widget here so i'm remo removing that on load equal to init embedded messaging method so that it won't load the chat Next, I have created a button. On click of the button, it will call the launch chat. In the launch chat, I'm using session storage dot set item and I'm setting the variable messaging start check in this session storage value to yes. And then now only I'm calling that calling this init embedded messaging method. I have a console dot log statement. I have given, uh, I'm, I'm using set timeout and after two seconds, it will launch the chat. So for example, let me end this conversation. Okay, since uh, I have used uh, session storage, it was uh, using the session storage value. So now if I click launch agents, after two seconds, it will automatically launch the chat. That is the main reason I'm using a set to timeout. I'm using this two seconds uh, difference so that uh, the init embedded messaging method will uh, load completely. And then I'm launching the chat using embedded service underscore bootstrap dot util API dot launch chat. So we have to make use of the code snippet and then we have to slightly tweak it so that the chat will be displayed and also launched only on a click of a button. Please check the video description. In the video description, I have shared my blog post. From the blog post, you should be able to get this sample JavaScript code for your reference. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.